we've had a new head coach announced after all this waiting. There was a lot of questions about uh, when it might come, who it might be, and it turns out it is Matt Taylor. Um, so he's an ex football player, um, he actually has played in the Prem. Um, he had a slightly underwhelming uh, reign at Walsall as manager. He does have good coaching experience, and that's what we've hired him for to be our head coach, not our manager. Now, as I've said in previous videos, a lot of the manager's role has been sort of um, taken in by the director of football role. Um, so, Mickey Moore, director of football, will be doing a lot of that stuff. And Matt Taylor's really more focused on what's on the pitch. Um, so, and I think he's got good experience at that. Obviously, being an ex-footballer himself, um, it's something that he can bring um, a lot of sort of inside knowledge into. And he said, "I'm aware the football club has a successful playing style, but of course, that style has been gutted by um, the leaving of our manager Cottrell and a lot of the key players, um, including the likes of, um, well, Pennington." Um, it's gone already, it's been confirmed, and rumours that Morosi may follow suit. Um, you know, other players as well, bouncing around between teams. So you kind of think, well, what is our style then? You really need to flesh out that skeleton of those who sort are of left. Another thing that Matt Taylor said is that he, um, his aim is that the first game against Cheltenham, um, the team will just be healthy and do their best and that he doesn't really have long-term aims, but that um, anything beyond that will be to win as many games as possible. If that was a full-on manager saying that, I'd be slightly concerned. Mickey Moore has taken on a lot of that sort of role. Um, now, should our head coach probably have a bit more of a firm aim for the future? Yes, he should. Um, I am a bit disappointed by Matt Taylor saying that. Um, he just takes it almost like one game at a time. I think that's not going to go down too well with a lot of people and may not work out very well for him if that truly is it. I'm sure he does really have more long-term aims, but maybe until they've got the players in place. Um, they don't quite know what those aims are because um, they did say they're going to sort of get the identity and get the players around it, but I think it's going to be they're going to have to get the players in and then build the identity around the players they have. Um, that seems to be the logical way of doing it with the amount of time we got left. Because all of this has been left a bit late, to be honest, doesn't it? So, again, don't want to be too negative. There are more than enough negative people out there. Um, but I also don't want to be a happy, clappy type that whatever the club does, I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. I just want to be level headed. Um, and I'm sure that probably is true for a lot of. Shrewsbury Town fans and a lot of football fans in general, we just want sort of a balanced view. We hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Um, so I think it's good we, that we've got someone in place. Um, whether he was the right man for the job is yet to be seen. Um, I think that he needs to get a bit of a clearer vision with Mickey Moore and Matt Taylor together um, as to what they want out of the team and what our aims actually are. Um, so yeah, there's positives and negatives and um, all we can say is come on Salah.